up Facebook up just to share. Um, just want to give you a little garden update. I uh, um, am glad to uh, sh show you my enclosed back porch here that I turned into a greenhouse with some vinyl uh, panel there. I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, just went all the way around with it. Put some lattice on the front and did a little insulation um, on the uh, edges at the top and bottom. So yeah, and staple, uh, some, some heavy duty staples uh, worked um, wonderfully. And I've got um, se several different systems going here. Um, got my fan for circulation. And of course my heater um, keeps a uh, wonderful temperature here. Um, with it being cold outside, the temp's almost 70 in here right now. So it keeps a really, um, and I've got my heater set at, at 80. So um, uh, wonderful um, uh, heat going on in here. So I've got my raised bed system here with the full spectrum uh, light system here. Um, got some garlic and um, this is actually my second set of, uh, I've got some some kale and collars and um, I had uh, some beets that I had planted and um, I had mice come in, which I had not experienced that before with that outside garden but I, I would come out and the, the, the tops would be chewed off the little um, sprouts and so I got some traps for that and I haven't had the problem since um, I put a, a leak uh, in the ground here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more because it's it's coming alive here and an onion here I just actually just cut the base of the onion where the roots are and it's uh, already producing if you can see it uh, coming up but yeah I've got some um, carrots here they're uh, round producing carrots I can't wait to taste those and of course I've got um, seedlings coming up here sprouting that I will transfer to um, this little project that I'm doing um, waiting on those to produce the smaller plants but i've got some midget watermelon and midget honeydew um bush height honeydew that aren't in uh, uh invasive i want to be able to see how that works in here in the grow room so um, and i use these egg cartons to to sprouts and stuff so i got that and i know i got those in front of the heater uh, because they require more for germination. So that's going right on. I also um, have um, this uh, heating mat here that will uh, that will sprout germinate. Um, this that I have here going on and got my rock wool producing some things got a host of things going on my peas and got some mint my chocolate mint looks um, sick it's got to be repotted she's fine she just needs uh, some room she's getting smothered over there um, got some lavender here a wonderful friend gave me that was dying she didn't know what to do with and uh, it's coming back my parsley <laughs> needs to be harvested but yeah this will be uh, hydroponic system after I get some of these uh, sprouts uh, to about two inches or so uh, I will um, I'm going to use the Kratsky system uh, with the crack I am thinking I'm saying that right with uh, these but then I've got my DWC which is a deep water um, uh, hydroponic system I got some squash 
coming up different kinds here. Uh, after they get a certain size, I've got some uh, larger bins that I will put them in. They're actually uh, a 20 gallon totes to give them room to grow. And so i um, got my clay pebbles uh, for support in there and my uh, oxygen uh, going in. These, uh, I won't use oxygen, but I have a uh, wonderful organic fertilizing system using this kelp. I just take it two ounces per gallon, shake it up, and I'll throw it in those uh, bottles there and just let them do their thing. Um, yeah, so got some collars growing in here, little barrel system here. Uh, got some Walla Walla onions that will be ready to uh, be thinned out and and, and transplanted by, by spring. Um, it, it, they, I, I planted them from seed, so it has taken uh, a tremendous amount of time for them to to uh, get the size. Got my strawberries um, that we harvest from. Uh, yeah, she likes it in here a lot. Uh, and I've got a bed uh, that I'm going to transplant some of those in. Uh, here this spring got my potatoes here uh, microgreens and herbs got some oregano and thyme and I've been they've been in those pots for years now uh, they, they just uh, love it in there and then I've got a pepper plant that um, got infested with aphids they, they get in the greenhouse and so you have to I've got a little system that I use here. Uh, take some rosemary uh, oil and peppermint oil and neem oil and uh, just mist and uh, keep it. And it also keeps the mice out. Uh, they don't like the peppermint oil. Uh, so I just spray around the um, base of the walls and uh, that keeps them out. I've got some ginger and sweet potato. I'm waiting on slips to come out of those so that I can pot those. But yeah, um, this is my aeroponic system I've got going here. Um, I just harvested a, a bunch of uh, lettuce and things from there. So I've got some new seedlings coming up in there. Got some sage here and um, some squash and um, but yeah these are ready to to harvest um like i said i just bagged a uh, bunch of those got some basil here that's been growing in this for a year now and kale of course but yeah so yeah pretty excited about um this and um, more projects and getting more education on it and uh, got my tomato here producing uh, I don't know if you can see these little guys on you see how come under it uh, got some little babies under there uh, got a little droop on it because my grandson who wants to be a gardener came in and and poured a gallon of it poured some water in here and over watered so uh, she'll be fine she's just got to dry out so those ends that's why those ends are are droopy from over watering over watering can cause um droop uh but so can dehydration if they're under water so she'll be fine lots of um babies on here um, we're waiting on it so and then I've got her tied up to the ceiling I've got my thermometer so it's 70 degrees in here and uh, I just love it I just love it I'm pretty excited about it um, and glad to share talk to you soon <laughs>